Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Simmons. This is Philosophy for Where We Find Ourselves, January 1st, 2024. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you had a great New Year's Eve, that you partied like it was 2023, and uh, now you are recovering like it is 2024. So I have taken a few weeks off uh, here on the YouTube channel. I'm back with weekly videos that should be dropping hopefully every Monday. Sometimes it's Tuesday, just given the, the schedule of things. But uh, real excited about a new year. So I thought on this first video of the year, what I would do is just tell you a few things about what's going on in my work and invite you to be part of it and give you a couple suggestions maybe of how philosophy can help us start the year off right. So first, I am really excited to announce that I have moved my monthly newsletter over to Substack. And so if you look in the description, there will be a link to my new Substack. I would greatly appreciate it if you would come check out the work I'm doing there. Get subscribed. There are free and paid options available. Let me encourage you to check out the paid alternative just because there's some really cool stuff. I'm going to be doing uh, quite a few posts a month. There will be some music recommendations, some stuff about outdoor activities, all of it, of course, with a philosophical slant. Being a paid subscriber allows you also to participate in the comments, the chats, and I'm going to be doing some regularly scheduled live stream events where we can all just get together and discuss philosophy and question and answer relative to the stuff I've been producing. So we'd love to have you connect with me over there. Secondly, I am extremely excited to announce that the Audible version of Camping with Kierkegaard is in the works. It should be out, hopefully, by early February. I will, of course, let you know as soon as it is available. And that will also kick off a new marketing campaign with a new marketing director that I've got going. And so really excited about what's in store for Camping with Kierkegaard as we launch it into the new year in some new formats. Finally, I am also... Uh, very stoked about the YouTube channel continuing. We are now really gaining our stride, really kind of figuring out what it is that you all are responding to. So please drop comments. Let me know the kinds of videos you would like to see, the kind of content that you would like to see me produce. I would really appreciate it. At the same time, if you have not connected with me on Instagram, go connect with me there, Simmons Philosopher. If you uh, ever need to reach out to me personally, SimmonsPhilosopher at gmail.com. I would love to be in touch with you and hear how I can produce content that speaks to where you are and the questions that you have. All right. So as a way of just giving you a couple philosophical um, nuggets maybe today that will help you into the new year. Today, I was out riding bikes with my son. I'm recovering from a little bit of a cold, and uh, he is 14, and so you would think that he would just absolutely be running laps around me. We were at the bike park. He was trying out his new bike, which, if anything, would make you pedal harder, I would think. And yet, we were going up the second climb, and he was absolutely gassed. Just done. And he kept saying, I hate this. I'm just so tired. This is awful. And I kept trying to explain to him. I was like, Atticus... If, if you would realize that the climb is what gets us the downhill, man, I know we're tired. Yeah, let's stop for a second. Let's gather our breath. Let's take a minute. Let's get some water. But then keep pedaling. Make it to the top so that we can keep riding bikes. And for him, he's like, oh, I just want to go home and take a nap. Now, he did get to the top. He loved it. He was, of course, fist bumping hard at the bottom and saying this is fantastic. But the idea of understanding that in this new year, wisdom is not trying to just get done with the climbs, but not to be so exhausted by them that we don't have the energy left for the fun part. I hope that we don't do that in our lives. Let's find ways to be able to, you know, do what's necessary to get to the top of the mountain so that we can have the energy left for where it is that we're trying to go. Whatever you have hopes for this year, I hope that they come true. I hope that it's exactly what you desire. But I also uh, think that maybe more importantly is that we understand what it looks like to be in this faithfully rather than just trying to check boxes. It's about being able to continue mountain biking, to continue fishing, to continue moving toward being a good parent, being a good friend, being a good citizen. These are all different things that we've got to recognize are not just one and done type of deals. It's, it's an attempt to 
remain so that our legs can keep pumping, our chest can continue to inhale, so that we can keep moving up in order to go back down, to go back up again. Now, that might seem like just monotony, but I actually think this is just the human condition. The reason that we imagine Sisyphus happy, says Camus, is not because he's just doing something amazing, but because he's able to triumph over the monotony of the everyday. Yes, the everyday can be exhausting. Yes, boredom is real. Yes, grief and loss and frustration are part of the deal. But it's also the case that we are not determined by circumstance completely. We have agency existentially and we have agency relationally. We can find ways to be invested in ourselves and others in ways that propel us forward and then give us the energy to go back down again. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. I'd love to hang out with you over at Substack. Get connected in all the ways possible. Let me know how I can help you this new year. I'm excited to walk and talk together through it. I'll see you next time unless a piano falls on our heads.